Hello, this is Hannah from My Stem Kits, and I'm here to talk to you about our Geometry Sticks kits. We have one in customary and one in metric, and I'll talk about both of them in this video. I want to explain just a few little logistics behind what to do with the kit when you print it. So, as far as assembling shapes go, it's all very simple. You can take whatever piece you're interested in, simply slide the peg through it, slide the second piece on top, and then secure with either the hard top or the flexible top. Now, if you're using the hard tops for the pegs, it's important to note that the openings at the top here are actually oval. They're not round. So the hard pegs have to come in from a certain angle. So if it's not fitting, don't try and force it. Just rotate it around until it goes on. In elementary school, students learn that it's a matter of closed shapes with straight sides that make polygons. So while this is a triangle, if I were to do this, even though it has three straight sides, since it doesn't connect, it is no longer a triangle. This is the sort of activity that students could do where they get to build their own shapes and you can challenge them with different constraints. Give me a triangle that has side lengths four and three with the angle 90 degrees between them. And they have to figure out that, okay, the third side of the hypotenuse is going to be a five unit segment, in this case, inches. And so you can challenge the students that way. Maybe they have to build a rectangle with a certain area and you get the students to do the math, to do the calculations and then actually build the shape and show you what they built. The students will really enjoy the chance to get this hands-on experience with geometry. But there is more you can do with it. For instance, each of the pegs has a hole in it so you can put in toothpicks or q-tips and then with that you have the option of doing perimeter. So you take a string and you wrap it around the shape. See exactly how long the perimeter is, okay. Then they take their measurement with their string and they hold it up to a ruler. So this one was in centimeters. And I see that my string measurement was 40 centimeters. You can also then trace whatever shapes you create onto your worksheet. That's what these lines are in the center of the shapes there. So you simply take a sheet of paper here and a pencil. And you can actually trace the shape that you created for further measuring and exploration. As you can see, it misses the corners, but that's fine because that's where the rulers come back in and you have the students go in, extend their line until they intersect and they can look at their shape two-dimensionally back on the paper. And they can do the math on paper then to verify what they found with the string in terms of perimeter or area or whatever activity you had them doing. At a high school level, when you're getting a little bit more advanced, you can have the students create a shape and then put the toothpicks in the corners the same way they did in elementary school to look at perimeter, only now you're gonna talk about diagonals. This is more than middle school partitioning, though you could certainly do that at that level where you're talking about partitioning shapes into halves and quarters by diagonal lines. But at the high school level, you can also extend it and look at whether or not the diagonals bisect, which is to see if they have equal measures. So if I have a parallelogram like this, I definitely do not have equal measures between the different line lengths here and here. But if I put this back into a square, now I see that these two diagonals bisect. So whether you are in elementary school, middle school, or high school, this is gonna be a really great kit with a lot of different activities and actions you can do to bring geometry to life for your students.